pushed by the winds of compassion and play. This Foxy character is one embodiment of our inspired self and thus is capable of truly original responses, creative activities that keep our heart free. To the fox, flow can feel like flying across a flowering world held safely in the air by a mysterious power. This is work though, in the sense we are engaging with life, taking action in the pursuit of the true and the beautiful. Compare loving work with working for love, which is toiling for some low quality connection with others and with ourselves, fueled by some few flashes of being recognized. There are so many careers and family systems and forces larger than us that reinforce self-sabotage. We are rats rewarded with food pellets. Working for love as a way of being in the world diminishes us until we carry a deep loneliness everywhere like a lingering sickness. It leaves us with insufficient inspiration to get out of the bed that has been made for us. In contrast, the experience of loving work fashions us into artists of our own life. I've often thought of this as a state of mind that must be nurtured intentionally with practice and discipline. But I think William Blake is closer to the truth when he says, imagination is not a state. It is the human experience itself.